Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Robert. Please like and subscribe. Believe me, you will not be disappointed with this story. Before we get to know each other better, there's one thing I want you to know. I am a polite person, so I will apologize when I make a mistake. Luckily, I never had to do that once in my life because I am always right. Look at me and the mansion I am living in. Oh, and do not forget the degrees I have here too. You can see that I am not only a successful man, but also extremely wise. The secret to my success is simple. Do not make mistakes. I do not mind sharing this secret with those around me. Unfortunately, not many people are smart enough to take my invaluable advice. One day, I passed a newly opened restaurant. Since there was a discount, it was very crowded. But I quickly realized that there was a serious problem. This restaurant will close soon. Who are you? Don't talk nonsense if you don't support my restaurant. It's bad luck. Why did you open a luxury restaurant in such an affordable area? On the face of it, the food is nothing special. Customers will not come back here a second time after the discount ends. Believe me, sooner or later, you will go bankrupt. You shut up! Get the heck out of here before I call security! Hey, I sincerely advise you to change the way you do business. Oh, calm down, I'm leaving now. Three months later, I heard that the restaurant was closed. Its owner got into a huge amount of debt and became homeless. Unfortunately, if he had listened to me sooner, he would have avoided bankruptcy. It was just like yesterday when I went to buy a new suit to wear to my son's graduation. I saw a young couple shopping together. The girl tried on one dress after another, paying no attention to her husband's pale face. I shook my head when I saw his flat wallet. How long have you two been married? Oh, we just got engaged, sir. Well, I think you should break up with her soon. Why do you say that? Because she's selfish. She's busy shopping for herself while you have to wear faded old clothes. Hey, old man, what are you talking about? I'm just giving this guy the right advice. By the way, the dress you are wearing turns you into a banana green toad. It does not suit you at all. I only told them the truth and about the experience of an experienced man, but I was kicked out by the store manager. A few days later, I accidentally caught the two of them arguing in the middle of the road. The woman coldly pushed the guy away and got into another man's car. See, I was not wrong. If he had listened to me, he would have saved some money. Not only that, but my wisdom also helped me raise two good children. My wife passed away many years ago, so I worked very hard to take care of them. They were more important than my career. My children were my pride. Aaron was a smart kid. I believed he would follow in my footsteps soon. And Elise was a sweet girl. I could not wait to see her become a great writer or musician. On Aaron's high school graduation day, I wore the best suit I had and bought a bouquet of fresh flowers. I could not close my smile because I was so proud. My son would have a brighter future than me. <laughs> Dad, come take a picture with me. Happy graduation, I'm very proud of you. I want to introduce you to some of my friends. This is Harry and this is Jason. They'll work with me on a startup project. Hi, wait, what did you say? A startup project? I thought you went for some business major in college. I don't think going to college is as good as doing business in the real world. I've had this business idea for a long time. I hope that you'll support and invest in me. Do you know how tough the economy is? You have no business experience at all. You don't even know how to properly use your allowance. Come on, Dad, listen to me. No, Aaron, you're the one to listen. I will invest in you, but only after you graduate from college. Get rid of that silly business idea. You and your friends are too young to realize that making money isn't as easy as getting good grades in school. And you don't even look at my planner? 
The plan is only one page long? I'm having a hard time holding back my laughter. Some people overheard our conversation. Aaron's face looked exactly like a tomato when everyone laughed at him. I hoped he realized how stupid he was, but no. That just made him unreasonably angry with me. I'll prove to you that this is no joke. Wait and see. I'll be more successful than you. So Aaron had not looked at me since that day. Honestly, I was quite impressed with how he persisted in finding investors, but that was just a waste of time. Fortunately, Elise was not like her brother. She was content with the path I laid out for her. <laughs> I love this piano. Thank you, Dad. I will hire the best teacher for you, and one day you will get a Grammy or any music award you want. Yes, I won't let you down. My little Elise was very musically talented. When she laid her hands on the keyboard, the melodious melody put me in a much better mood until that obnoxious notification sound from her phone interrupted and she started <laughs> chuckling. Who's texting you at this hour? Oh, there's a person I'd like to introduce to you. He's a very nice guy. I'm sure you will like him very much. Okay, you can invite your friends over anytime you want. Actually, we have feelings for each other. I understand. I'm willing to support your love life, as long as the other person treats you well. Yay! That is awesome! I her smile, but I had a bad feeling about that new friend. Arranging to meet, I dressed politely and prepared a sumptuous feast to welcome Elise's friend. At first sight, I knew this guy was not the right match for my daughter. Well-dressed, shiny hair, but with all my life's experience, I was sure that guy was a jerk. Hi, I'm Connor. I know who you are. Elise talks about you a lot. Is that so? Then you must know your daughter and I. I object. What's wrong, Dad? Didn't you say you would approve of our relationship? Provided that the one person you want to be with is a good person. You just meet him. Connor treats me very well. I bet Connor does the same to all the other pretty girls. The meeting turned awkward, but I did not care. There was no way I was going to let any bastard get a chance to hurt my daughter. When Elise burst into tears, I was heartbroken. But look at that Connor. He did not even try to comfort her. He angrily flipped the table over and left. Listen to me, Elise. I know you're sad, but Connor isn't the guy of your dreams. No, you don't understand him as well as I do. Believe me, Dad is always right. That's enough. I'm so tired of you and all that advice. Now, I understand why Aaron hates you so much. You're really bossy. Elise almost gave me a heart attack with just a few words. I was sad, but I was not angry with her at all. The truth hurts. I believed she would understand me soon enough. Day by day, I suddenly felt lonely in my own house. I began to think about miscellaneous things, fearing that my little children would not be able to bear the cruel reality. One of my friends called me and told me that Aaron was still having a hard time finding startup capital. I sighed and then decided to secretly help him. Can you invest in Aaron's project? I will transfer the money to you, but don't tell him. Why? I just don't want to see my son work so hard. Oh, young kids, I get it, I'll help you. After that day, I found that Aaron's spirits seemed to be much more lifted. On the contrary, the dark circles under Elisa's eyes were getting darker and darker. I knew she was still seeing Connor in secret, she even started calling him Romeo in her works. A Romeo who never had the courage to climb onto the balcony to find Juliet, but forced her to climb the wall out. One night, I waited outside and caught Connor, scaring him to death. I was just passing by. Really? I swear. Don't worry, I won't hit you. I just need you to promise not to hurt Elise. Of course. I love her so much, I would never betray her. If you dare. What are you doing? 
Too bad. I was too old for that sneaky thing. Elise did not seem happy at all. Why do you always embarrass me? Can you please stop? I just want what's best for you. I don't need it. Please leave me alone. What's going on? Why are you guys standing in front of the house at this time of night? It has nothing to do with you, Aaron. Really? Did he know that you asked your friends to help him? What? What are you saying, Elise? I heard her dad talking to his friend on the phone. He invested in your project under someone else's name. Aaron's face was so distressed that I thought I would remember it until I died. I hurt the kids again. I just wanted to help my children. Why did things turn out like that? For the first time in my life, I hoped my prediction was wrong. Even when I was sleeping, I dreamed that Aaron started a successful business and became a young billionaire. Elise was globally famous for her immortal music, and Connor would hold her hand, taking her to all the prestigious award ceremonies. The hard truth was that I was right. Aaron's business project failed miserably, and the money I invested in his project flew out the window. Connor only kept his promise for exactly a month, and then turned to go after another girl. Because of her broken heart, Elise did not care to eat or drink anything. Aaron and Elise used to be happy and healthy. Then, they were nothing more than the walking dead. I knew it was not easy, but if an apology could make them happier, it was worth it. I dragged them out of the room one by one. I never felt so stressed like this before. I want to talk to you seriously. I know, I was wrong, okay? I admit that I'm weak. I can't do anything, and I don't need you to remind me again. Am I not looking miserable enough? I just want to be alone. <sighs> I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for causing you two so much pain. The two kids were surprised, so I repeated it again. I'm really sorry. Elise suddenly burst into tears while Aaron looked at me in shock. Do you know what you're wrong about? You can tell me what you think. Now that I think about it, you were right. But you know what? I knew my chance of success was small, but I'm not afraid of failure. What I need are experience and your support. But I denied you and hurt your self-esteem, right? I understand now. And you too, Elise. I shouldn't have objected so harshly to your dating. I should have used softer words. I spread my arms wide as my two children stepped forward to hug me. Can you two forgive your father? Yes. I'm sorry too for speaking harshly to you. It's okay, forget it. I did not lie when I said I would change. I would do anything for my children, even if I died of embarrassment. <laughs> but when I think about it, I was still right when I chose to apologize. It was just that I gave my opinions inappropriately. What do you think? I do not mind hearing honest comments. Feel free to leave me a comment.